So normally when we say goodbye to someone on their last day, we'd all gather as a group in the newsroom, cut some cake, usually a big cake, take pictures, not the case with the pandemic. But that doesn't mean that the team here at NBC5 can't say our goodbyes together. Stephanie, I'm going to miss you so much. Congratulations. We are all wishing you the very best as you write your next chapter. I feel like you've been around for so many people coming and going, and you've always been the first person to welcome each and every one of us into the studio as we've arrived. I remember when I first moved to the Champlain Valley, and we went on that boat cruise. I didn't know anyone, and you made me feel like family. You are an amazing role model, and I'm so lucky to have gotten the chance to work with you. You took me under your wing, and you helped me grow into the journalist that I am today, and for that, I cannot thank you enough. And all the journalists you've helped too, myself included, um, in ways you've been a mentor and uh, just been a friend to and been there for. Um, that leaves an impact uh, that will continue on. You truly are a TV legend, a TV icon here in our region. I remember that effervescent young reporter coming through the door to anchor our brand new morning show all those years ago. You started here at NBC5 the year I was born. You were the very first person I ever saw on local news in this market. You've uh, given people for years somebody to depend on and somebody to connect with. I was a huge fan of the show ER, and you, of course, were the news anchor that immediately followed that show. And you have been there ever since, steadfastly serving the people of this very, very special part of the world. You know, you've become such a reliable, relatable community presence. Very few people in the history of this television station have devoted as much of their lives to its success as have you. I'm really going to miss our makeup room chats, catching up and talking about life, but that means we have a really good excuse to get dinner in a couple of months when it's safe to do so in person, and I'm going to hold you to that. I think the thing I'm going to miss when I come into the building from now on is uh, you screaming, it's Friday, it's Friday. I also appreciate all of our Friday night pizza parties we used to have, me rushing back from Friday night football games and there'd be pizza waiting for me, and of course, I'm definitely gonna miss that as well. A few weeks into the job, I drove up to Plattsburgh for the 4th of July parade. I remember you yelling to the crowd that, I'm the new reporter, my name is Matt, and I gotta say, I was so embarrassed by that. But I'm thankful you did that because it showed me that you were welcoming me into the NBC5 family. It also means a lot to me that you're the only person who loves Taylor Swift as much as I do. Love that. Big smile on your face and the enthusiasm. I'm gonna miss that. Uh, the chats about the mischief that our kids were always getting into. I will miss you, but we know that whatever adventure you choose to take on next, you will shine no matter what. I wish you the best of luck in retirement. I can't wait to see what the future holds. Of course, I know we'll see you again, but until then, congratulations. It's not goodbye, it's just see you later. Congratulations on an amazing career. We wish you nothing but the best as you begin a new chapter, but you will always be a mighty fiver. Wow, that was something, huh? Yeah, that, that, yeah. that got me. Uh, God, I mean, I'm a little verklempt. I, I remember walking in that parade in Plattsburgh and yes. you making a scene. Yeah, oh, I made a very and, big and scene for Matt Layton. Matt Layton wanted to hide. He did, he wanted to <laughs> he hide. He wanted to find some place to hide. But I wanted people to know who he was because he was going to be delivering the news yeah. to them. Let's bring in Stu. He started this all. <laughs> yes, Stu, you're the one who hired me, so... You're well, the reason I'm here. I mean, not to not to age you, but you know we've worked together a a long time. Uh, and if Tyler Jankowski's declaration that he you know you started the day he was born, on your first day, George H. W. Bush was in the White House. Oh, that's five presidents. Yep. Soon you'll begin your second act, uh, and and you know, as you heard, we can't wait to see what you're going to do. But we do have the 5:30 newscast coming up. Uh, it's a special night here on NBC5. We'll get to that after this. Well, where do you begin to describe such a special person? Of course, there is, and you've heard a lot about it, the passion for journalism, uh, the love of good writing, certainly the love of the Champlain Valley and beyond. And then there's the personal side I got to see over the years, the uh, amazing dancer, some holiday parties, great singer, and of course there's that show-stopping, beautiful, thick, dark hair. Uh, of course I'm describing Stuart Ledbetter. 
But I think, Stephanie, these compliments also apply to you. And this is a week, a time you're getting a lot of accolades and you certainly deserve them. Uh, personally, I can say that you were there when I became a reporter. You were there when I became an anchor. Those were big moments in my life and it's why you and everyone at NBC5 will always be a big part of my life. And I'm very grateful for that. So I wish you well in all your adventures ahead. I'm not calling it a retirement, uh, but just the adventure ahead. And I will leave you with a secret. Do not tell Stu, but you are definitely the better singer. He, though, is the better dancer. <laughs>